All right, so here's round one. We're on the draw. Him looks pretty solid. Lead with removal spell, dark confront, blade splicer. Ooh, windrush kites. I like his style. Right, so let's see what you got. We're going to go with the Zealous Persecution, just so we can resolve this Dark Confidant. And then hopefully we can uh, shut down his Mirror Crusader with this Blade Splicer. Take over the game. Alright, so he drew Godless Shrine. That was a good draw step for him. That's what he needed most was obviously lands. Now we're going to play Dark Confidant here first instead of Thoughtseize because we're going to just try to out-card him as opposed to dealing with a single one of his threats. He can Spectral us here and turn on Windburst Kites though. That's just something that we believe we can beat. Alright, so we started with Mirror Crusader. That's good for us. This gives us an opportunity to thought seize him, depending on what we draw. Alright, so he knows about a thought seize. Um, I think we want to take a hit from the Crusader and tear apart his hand. So we know he has uh, another Crusader, a hero, and two unknown cards. Oh no, he has the Spectral as well. So we would want to take the Spectral and the Hero. I believe. This would put us, we take two from the land, two from the Thoughtseize, two from the other Thoughtseize. So we go to 11, we take four from the Mirror Crusader to put us to seven. That's uh, not the best position to be in when you have a Dark Confront in play. Fortunately, after that, we won't be taking a whole lot of damage because we'll get the Blade Splicer out there and then hopefully we can get this Fall to the Archangels active and start gaining life. Uh, the other thing that we can do is just go ahead and jam Blade Splicer. We would take less damage, but then he'd be able to resolve his threats, which is probably not the situation we want to be in. I think we'd rather play the game of just go to 7. Okay, so he drew Path to Exile. That's pretty good. That's a way to deal with our, our Golem token. Hmm. But we don't want him to have Path or Spectral. Uh, or Hero, really. We're okay with the Crusader as long as our Golem can survive, which means having to get rid of the Path. So I think we just have to go that route. Okay, so he's opting for damage instead of another threat. He's just going to try to kill us with our own Dark Confidant, I guess. Might work. Well, that was good. I think we want to cast Blade Splicer with a white opened Path as Guy. And then next turn we can Vault of the Archangel to gain some life. Yeah, I guess it has to work. The Fade Restoration Angel with Dark Confront, though. Very good. It's not very good at all. So now he can't cast his Crusader. We managed to dodge Restoration Angel, so we're still alive. Now our plan is to gain 6 life off the vault. Yeah, he has Crusader and Hero in hand. 
So our plan is pretty obvious here. We don't want to have to dodge a two with dark confidant. That's just our chance of dying is too great. Our chance of winning is much greater. Just gaining six life here. Probably play hero here. All right, crusader to stop dark confidant, I guess. Well, we have Moodavolt to play defense if we need it, so I think we can just get in there with the Golem to start, and hopefully he trades. If not, we get some damage. Okay, Path. So that's not too bad for us. I think we want to take his hero while we can. So we have six mana, we need two of it to activate Moodavolt and block. That leaves us with enough mana to where we could play Packrat, activate Packrat by tapping Moodavolt after blocks. That would give us lethal on the swing back. Or we could play Sculler and take his hero. I think I like that better, because otherwise he just plays the hero. I suppose it might have been a little risky. We could have flashed back Lingering Souls instead. In case he draws Path to Exile, then we're putting ourselves at in jeopardy of losing to uh, Path to Exile. I guess we could also block with Blade Splicer. Maybe that's better. Yeah, that's better. I wasn't even thinking about that. Well, I guess he knows our hand is two pack rats. Ooh, zealous in response, huh? I guess I activate in response. Make another one. That would be three, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Oh no, I can't attack. Whoops. Did I just punt this game? Yeah, I should have just flashed back Lingering Souls though, for sure. Okay, so now we die to an Anthem effect that we would not otherwise die to. Because I forgot the Packrat doesn't have haste. Yeah, so we just easily win this game if we... Oh, man. And we're punished. Yep. Miscounted. Tried to play fast. Anyway. Dark Blast is not too good. His guys are 2-2 two, two pro black, 3-4. Um, we don't want to be trying to kill a spectral procession with the dark blast. Disenchant is pretty good. It kills uh, Honor of the Pure. Fulminator can stop Windburst Kites. Damnation is pretty reasonable as well. Just kill all his guys. Tear apart his hand, then use that. Uh, we don't want any of these. This is maybe a consideration. Okay, so now what to cut. I guess for bringing in Damnation, Tide Hollow Skuller is not the best. He's not a very good creature to match up with the guys in the opponent's deck anyway. So we cut three more. 
Fulminator's not amazing. I think Sword is pretty good, because it can kill like a Mirren Crusader. I think we want Dark Confidant. I think 25 lands is fine, because we are bringing in Swords. So we want our Hand Disruption, we want Path, we want Dark Confidant, we want all our Token Makers, we want Angel, we want Pack Rat. I guess Fulminator is the loosest one. We want Damnation, Disenchant, Sword. So we're going to go with this. So this is an interesting draw, the old creature, creature, damnation draw. He'll probably have a thought seize for us, so it'll take out one side of this, either the damnation or the dark confidant. Have zealous. Sweet. I think you want to thought see some. Alright, so he does have the spectral and the crusader. Yeah, I think we want to take the spectral procession here. So it goes with Lingering Souls over Mirren Crusader. So he's got two heroes, a Crusader, and an unknown card in hand. I think at this point we thought he sent in player in Lingering Souls and pass. Another Lingering Souls. Okay. This damnation is not looking too hot against all these Lingering Souls. So I guess we just play the Attrition game. Let's try to beat him with Dark Confidant. So I guess we go with the Mirror Crusader here. Hopefully he doesn't draw Zealous Persecution anytime soon. That one's also pretty reasonable. No attacks. One of us looks to be dying from the Dark Confidant. Unfortunately, I think it's us. So he's got two heroes in hand, Lingering Souls in the Graveyard. This is quite the predicament. I don't think we trade Dark Confidant yet. We just play Lingering Souls, flashback. Pass the turn. He knows we have another Bob in hand. Well, now he knows everything. Alright, well, unfortunately, we have to make this unfortunate exchange here. We do not have our Blade Splicer anymore, which is another pretty unfortunate situation. Uh, he still has another Lingering Souls in hand as well. So he's Lingering Souls and two heroes. I think it's time to start attacking with Dark Confidant. So we can just play another one if he blocks. 
He's probably at a point where he doesn't want to block either. If he doesn't block, we flash back Lingering Souls and play Restoration Angel when he attacks us. Okay, so he's content to trade. We're fine with that. He's probably playing Lingering Souls over Hero, even if he draws a land. He's definitely after we have a 3-4 flyer. Zealous <laughs> for the blowout. Hmm. After blocks path, interesting. Two his lingering souls and two heroes in hand. That was actually a pretty good turn for us. Ooh. That's not a bad card to draw. Alright, so we have 8 mana, a flashback, Lingering Souls, attack for 4, gain 4 life. Seems pretty reasonable. Attack us back for 2. I think I like that line. So we can activate both Moot Vaults. Yeah. on the draw zealous plan or no? I guess he didn't draw it. Right, so now here comes hero. Souls. I guess. Oh, spell skate. Okay. We can disenchant spell skate, activate both mood vaults. Yep. Next game. Do you even have to? Two, four, six, seven. Yeah, we have to. We also could have cast Damnation, then activated Moon of Alt and killed him. We have full information, so either way works. So two close games so far. I feel like Fulminator Mage would have been good that game. Maybe Damnation is not as good. It seems like things can just kind of get out of hand. I guess he's going to be on the play this next game too. I'll just run it back. We don't have any disruption, but we have a curve and we have some draw steps. It's going to have us discard our Blade Splicer here. Alright, so he's probably holding Inquisition. Inquisition? No. He would have played Inquisition. Let's 
So he's got a handful of big drops, I guess. No play on turn two. Unless he's got raise the alarm. No. Here they come. New Crusader to start. Nothing. Sweet play. Maybe we can first strike a token. We can block a token. Just take three. He does not know about the damnation in hand. I think he thought sees me before I drew it. This guy's making all the interesting plays. We're just going to flash back Lingering Souls on our next turn, so we might as well just jump lock this turn instead of trying to damnation. Because we can cast Damnation and Flashback next turn. So we can go ahead and kill this guy. The only way we get punished here is if he draws a discard spell. And it has to be Thought Cease, it can't be Inquisition either. So next turn we'll Damnation. Okay, no attacks, interesting. Well, I still think we're on that plan. I think we audible now. My plan was to activate Mood of Vault, play land, activate Vault, and just drain life him for four. But I think we're on the Pack Rat plan now instead. Rats and modern. That is not going to be enough.
ਜੀ ਜੀ